For the astronauts and people of Mission Control, every moment will produce new dangers, new decisions, new wonders. For the viewer, we opted to tell this um, chronologically and immersive. So what I mean by that is really we, you know, a lot of sort of the anniversary docs coming out really take out a wide swath, they, they, you know, of, and look at the Apollo, um, uh, the Apollo uh, organization as a whole. We opted to really just look at almost three to four weeks of the mission. Many of the film and photos you will see are rare. In the tape recordings of the astronauts themselves have not been heard on television until now. They were made by Life magazine before and after the mission. We wanted to put viewers really in the, in the console with these three men. Um, there was, t you know, there was a, a, a ton of uncertainty. There was a ton of untested technology. Um, you know, it, it, Aldrin and Armstrong, you know, in retrospect, put their chances of success at 50-50. And we wanted to put the viewer in the moment with them. As liftoff nears, the lost tapes reveal the astronauts have their concerns. Neil Armstrong, commander of Apollo 11, is not worried about himself, but wants to do right by his country. Look, look, at the end of the day, no one really knew if this thing was even possible. I mean, Gene Krantz, who ran Mission Control, said there was three options. Either they're going to crash, they were going to abort, or they're going to land. On back right. Okay, engine stop. Engine arm off. We copy you down, Eagle. Eagle lands with only 25 seconds of fuel remaining. Listen, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. 